Good morning, y'all, from here in District 5 in Saigon. We're gonna do a quick one today, right before I hit the road again and take off and do a little bit more travel. We are in District 5, starting off with a Ban Mei Shu Mai. Uh, we are in here in an area that is big wholesale. You see, you got a big market right here that sells all types of material goods and everything. Starting to get into the Chinatown, may actually be in it because you see the, start to see the Chinese characters, and it's a it's a cool place to come here. It's hardworking, and when you got a hardworking place, you know you're gonna have some good food with it. We're going here. We're gonna meet Go Go. She's been selling Ban Mei Shu my hair since 1980. Chào Em coi YouTube anh trước khi à, anh à, biết lâu rồi. Đi, 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 đi. Coi lúc anh ăn ở trong quận 6 ăn cái quán cơm rồi đi vòng vòng yeah, ăn. Rồi, coi, coi, coi Bình Dương. Đúng rồi, rồi coi nhiều video sao? của anh rồi. Đúng rồi, rồi bạn coi em mà coi riết. Đúng rồi, đúng rồi. Đúng rồi yeah. Anh nói là nói tiếng Bắc rất là hay luôn đúng không? À đúng rồi, đúng rồi. Tiếng giỏi giọng Bắc đó. And what's funny is when you get up under here like man if you come earlier I wait till a little bit later in the day it's like 8:39. Uh if you come eight or before or anything like that man you can't get into this little corner of her right here because there's so many people just surrounding her Giống mấy lần vậy đó ha bán bánh mì gì bánh mì xíu mài bánh mì bánh mì xíu mài bánh mì bì bánh mì ba rọi kia cái này là gì thịt ba rọi thịt ba rọi ba rọi kia á ba rọi giả luôn lum á con cà bông đồ như mà một ổ ba thứ luôn nè cho em muốn thử bánh mì xíu mài bánh mì xíu mài rất là ngon nè ủa hôm bữa con có ghé thì ăn chưa Ăn gì? Bữa con có ghé thì con ăn chưa? À, ăn ở đây đúng rồi. À, yeah. ghé rồi. Now I was always afraid I was going to miss her and she's going to sell out, but apparently she goes to 11. I do think there are some days that she sells out a little earlier, but she starts as early as 6 a.m. and she says she goes to 11, but I don't know if she makes it to 11 all the time. So you may want to get here a little earlier than 11. Một ổ, một ổ chị. Này không? Dạ đúng rồi, tấp cẩm. Tấp cẩm luôn. Ớt luôn. Dạ. Cái này nước sốt to xíu. À nước sốt. Nước sốt này đâu con? À Nó đường này ba chị. À à. Bỏ cho con miếng này vô luôn nha. Ha. Thêm ok Ok, con sẽ thử Thử rồi Dạ thử đúng rồi Của anh Căng That's it, this is what it's about She actually had some of her pork belly Roasted pork belly on there as well She's like, do you want it? I don't know how you could say no to the woman So definitely had to get that on there as well And there it is at Banh Mi Saigon style, it's light, it's flaky. And I tell you what I like about the shumai is it gets a lot of sauce in there. It starts to soak into that bread. Mm. Ooh, she put them firebomb chilies in there. I hit one right away. But me, it's all about that shumai. The way it just it melts in your mouth. It's soft. There's so much fat in it, but it's got enough meat to give you that sensation, that umami, a little bit of just that braised pork belly sauce is unreal. A little bit goes a long way with this. The way it soaks into the banh mi, so it's like crispy, but still get the soaked bread as well. Wow. Big helping hand of cilantro. You crunch in to her dochu, which is that pickled carrot and daikon radish. 
You just got it all. It's all those notes and those flavor profiles, the textures. <laughs> I know y'all can see it, that pork belly just be jiggling. Cool. And you can come here and you can combine it kind of how you want. I hear some people, I didn't even think about this, but they got the pate and the shumai. You get some people, they get the pork belly with the shumai kind of like I did. You see people coming in, they'll get the pork skin, lots of the fried scallions and oil, like a soy sauce mixture. And you can, she said she only got three types here, but you can kind of mix and match and do your own thing. Man, that pork belly with the shumai is a big time move. Revolutionary. And you see what I'm talking about? There's just a fraction of it, but you see how they start to, it's almost like a black hole over here. It's like the bun me black hole. They come over here and people just swarm to them because they gotta get this bun me. You cannot pass by this part of Saigon and not stop and have this. I didn't want to take any more of their time, uh, but you, you kind of wonder, like, man, why has she been selling since 1980 and everything? And I'd like to find out, and I will one day. I just don't want to keep bothering because people keep rolling in. She needs to keep doing business, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, when you're selling bottom me for like 25K and putting that much in it, that is ridiculous. And you're going to be working up a sweat doing it because let me tell y'all, there ain't no airflow down there. So kudos to that family. Super friendly. Uh, good bun me that I've been eating for a few times now. Something I, I crave and I, I cross like eight, no, like five, one, two, three, four, four or five districts just to come eat. It's, it's worth the hike and trek out here. So I came to get a quick drink. Got some sugar cane juice. A place I haven't gone to in a long time. I used to live on the street, Bavantun. I used to live right here. I used to come, this place kind of grab and go. Though you don't sit and talk, which places I've been doing lately, and I kind of missed it, and I was craving it, so I decided to swing by here. Come on, Junior. Come on, Junior. This place just got another vote for me because they have the Mia with Sao Ring. That's Sugar cane juice of durian. Oh. That's where it's at. And they do it so well. They're a little shy of the camera, so I didn't go over there too much, but they are just as friendly. You come here, you get your nook mia, you can get the you can get the sugar cane juice with the durian, you can get the coconut water with the tack. There's so many things you can get here. And they do it all so well. See you again. <laughs> okay, I just got done drinking some beers with some uh, older individuals. I love coming over here, drinking a few beers, talking to them. We're about to cross the street now and get some kum tum. And this is really just a fun area to come. You're over by the bridge that connects you to District 4, but you get in here, there's gonna be a lot of food that connects around here. Lots of lots of good stuff to try. I just keep getting hooked on this kum tam right here. I'll always try it, but they're telling me I gotta have the balalop right here next to it, and you can drink beers. There's a lot of chul over here. You can have snails. Such a great area. Everybody's friendly. It's just like your whole little little alley atmosphere. Vietnamese family in here. It's, it's the best ever. And 
and this is what it's all about family vibes here so you got the son right here you'll have the mother she's gonna be frying up some chicken in a little bit we may get the fried chicken but the soon the actual pork chop is their special here and you got the husband is up on the grill over here so Saigon's become crazy like Kum Tham is always evolving and you see a stall like this you can get that broken rice but there's a, a variety of things you can get with it you can see you got the shumai they got almost like a tikka chung which would be like a braised pork belly dish they got well I do believe it's a Chinese sausage it just keeps evolving you can get fried eggs that are kind of runny and crispy so much you can do here and here they even fry up some chicken now one thing I really like to look for where I'm looking for a place that I want to eat is how many like if they do something like a soup or something how many do they have ready to go before the ship even starts and look at this look at a basket full I bet you I got at least a hundred of these side soups just ready to go because they're not gonna have time to pour and bag them they got to get them go before that rush hits uh, so what she's doing is she's taking all that lemongrass that garlic, the chili that's falling off the chicken, she's gonna put it right there. It ain't gonna go to waste. When you order the chicken, it gets topped on top of your chicken. It is a, oh, it's such a good move. Tại sao bắt đầu bán cơm tấm? Của cha mẹ. Dạ. Cha mẹ truyền nghề lại. Là bán ở bên Cô Bắc. À, hiểu. Của bên đây đây nè, Cô Bắc đây nè. Dạ, đúng, rất là cơm. Số 55 Cô Bắc. Xưa bán đó đó. Dạ. Xong trả nhà mới đi rồi xuống đây bán. Ờ. Nhưng bây giờ rất là nổi tiếng. Dạ. You just can't get enough of her. She's very nice. First time I came here, it was like pouring rain. And I just sat there and I, I got to talk to this family for a little while and really got to know them. And so it gives my heart a soft spot for here. And look at the amount of chilies I give you. Bán rồi, bán tầm mấy giờ đến mấy giờ? 5 giờ chiều cho đến 11 giờ. 11 giờ. Okay, and here we go. And then, just show you the friendliness of Vietnam. <laughs> this is a seat at the Balalo place. But they let me sit here because the come time spot, it's full right now. And check this out. They've been open 10 minutes and it's completely full. But that time I was like, I don't want to bother you. Like, I'll wait till everybody's done. But they said, no, 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 just come sit over here. All right, now here we go, y'all. Check it out. Decided to go traditional since we're making the video. Got the grilled up pork chopped has been marinating. You know, when you're doing 30 kilograms of that, you're doing something right. Actually got the pork skin. Got the cha, look at it. Got some carrot in there. What well, looks like almost like pork belly and that steamed egg. It got a little wiggle wiggle to it, if you know what I mean. And then the fried egg as well. It's already running out the side right here. And then of course, got a lot of chili in that nook mom. And they top it with the fried scallions and almost crispy little fat pork belly bits. Go ahead and pull that back. Expose that rice right there. You ain't got rice. You ain't got life. You ain't got good. Come thumb. And remember, tam tam gets better the more you get it mixed in here together. Get a little piece of that chai right here. Oh, I got a little salted egg on it. A little action as well. Okay, let's do it right. Let's go ahead and go in that pork chop, pork skin, the chai, and a lot of that nook mom and chili right here. I need to shut up and go ahead and get that nook mom all over in this rice. The way that rice with that texture, every little granule different, almost like a little textural overload. The way it soaks in, that nook mom, that chili, and then you get in that pork chop. It's meaty. 
it's a little more, you gotta chew through it a little bit, but I've learned to develop that taste and that palate for it, because it's sugary, it's caramelized, it's kind of burst with the meat juices every little time you take a bite. Mm. For me, when you go to a popular spot and they're cranking out them pork chops, and they ain't got time to rest, when they lay it over that rice, it continues to leak them juices on top of that rice, soak in, that's where it's at. Wow, Joe Haikan. Oh, that's not guy, wow. I mean, you see what I'm talking about here? You see right here? That's actually that pork chop, them juices flowing down in there. So you get some of that McMum on there. Let's go ahead and break the egg dough. See what it's all about. Look at that. It ain't runny, it's gooey. That's exactly how I like my fried egg. Crispiness on the side, but that yolk has become gooey. I could just take this right here. Thumb thumb, McMum chili, and the fried egg. That's just as good, if not better, than any ramen egg you're going to get. Because not only does it have that perfectly creamy, custard-like texture, it's on top of some kum tum. Mm. Cooking that pork belly till it's just fatty, rich, like pork butter inside that ja. But then they've steamed the egg so it's silky soft silk and kind of like a tofu, like a soft tofu almost. Mm. I just don't know if I can have kum tam anymore without a soup, a side soup, the way it's, it's peppery. It's a lot of cooked down cabbage. It just wipes your palate clean. It's such a simple thing. It's such an important step. Mm. Team, clean, plate, every time when I come here, every time. Uh, another great day in Vietnam. Even the worst days are still pretty darn good, I'm not gonna lie. Um, delicious Kham Tham, over here 20 years. Tell me to come eat this Bala Lope right here. It's just a spot you come here to eat. I hope you all enjoyed today. Uh, I'm gonna head out and I'll see y'all from America on the next one. If you're still watching, I know you truly care. Let me know where you want me to go to America and make some Vietnamese food videos if you want me maybe even try to cook for my parents or something. We'll see. We're gonna try to change it up a little bit, but it's a max. I'll catch you at the next one. Bye bye.